fellow World of Tank Blitzers and future Momrads, Littlefinger here. Going to share with you a little more knowledge. This time, I'm talking about avoiding common mistakes that I see players make early in their careers playing this game. So, mistake number one, rushing tank lines. What I mean by this is that uh, I think people feel that there's some super tank at tier 10 that's going to be unbeatable. Let me just tell you, the rules of the game are the same at tier 1 as they are at tier 10. They might have better guns at tier 10, they do more damage, you might have a higher hit pool of points, but the opponents also got those same guns and they're going to deal out damage on you just as fast and you can die just as fast in tier 1 as you can in tier 10. Um, and that's just the fact of it. So what I recommend um, is staying at the lower levels uh, a little bit longer so that you can um, so that you can figure out what type of tank it is that you really enjoy playing. I mean you gotta play a lot of battles to get to tier 10 so why rush a, a a line that you just don't enjoy when you get there. Um, case in point, my favorite tanks right now are the BT-2, BT-7, and A-20. Uh, you can find those in tiers 2, 3, and 4. Um, I like them because they're fast, nimble, they get around. Um, in this gameplay video that I'm showing now in the A-20, I relocate three different places in the map uh, in a very short amount of time and do quite a bit of damage. Um, so the other thing that I see with people rushing tank lines is they don't learn in-game strategy. Uh, I'm going to post another video on tactics such as angling your tank, side scraping, getting hold down, and other important techniques. Um, so hopefully that'll be useful. And, you know, there's 225 tanks as of August 2016 in this game. The breakdown is 43 light tanks, 75 medium tanks, 48 heavy tanks, and 59 TDs. Uh, of course, some of those are premium tanks that you can't buy anymore or that were giveaways for missions. Um, but even still, that's a lot of tanks, and you really need to focus on the tanks that you enjoy, enjoy driving. Um, so, so take your time in the lower tiers. Uh, it isn't as costly at the lower tiers. I mean, it's hard to earn credits in, in tier nine, tier 10. Um, and really just focus on the type of tank that you like and what best fits your skill sets. Um, the other thing, and I'll post a link below, uh, but there's websites out there that uh, rate you after you've played a hundred battles in a tank and My my guess is not too many people stick around to play a hundred battles in uh, some of those tier two through tier four or five tanks Mistake number two is not using free experience points properly to equip your new tank so by this, what I mean is that uh, you have the option when you purchase a new tank to use your free experience points that you've earned from previous battles to upgrade the tank. My recommendation, and I talked briefly about it in the Garage Series videos, is to upgrade the turret and the gun. Um, some of these tanks have a huge difference between their penetration values or reload times or even the damage done between the stock gun and the upgraded gun. Um, and so this, in a way, I think, ties into mistake number one. If you play more games in your lower tier tank, then you're going to earn more free experience points. So build up a cache of free experience points before you purchase your next tank. Don't just do it because you have combat experience and you have credits. Wait until you have the free experience so that you can upgrade the gun um, and the turret. So mistake number three that I want to talk about is not using premium ammo. This is called Pramo 
for gold rounds, uh, and you'll also get called out for it, being called a gold spammer and so forth. But it's really critical uh, and can, also, can come down to costing you a game, uh, winning or losing. So many times I've seen uh, a smaller, lighter tank, maybe like a Luchus or Leo, one-on-one, -on -one, last two tanks alive against uh, KV-1, Matilda, AT, something with really strong armor. And this poor guy is, is trying his hardest to kill the tank and he can't even penetrate it. Um, well, with APCR, um, it wouldn't have been so much of a, a problem knowing where to aim. Um, so I talk about it a little bit in the Garage Series video about loading Pramo. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I didn't know that you could push that button, switch it from gold to credits. Uh, so if you're, I think it's much more worth it if you're using credits. I don't recommend spending gold for Pramo. Um, but the way the game's set up now, you can earn plenty of credits. Um, and I'm not go saying going out there and shoot nothing but Pramo, but there's times for you uh, to switch it. You saw in that previous video on the A20, um, you know, up against a Hetzer. He's got a very strong frontal armor. Um, I wanted to make sure that I did some damage. So there's, there's the right time and the right place, and it's all about learning when to use your premium ammo. So, mistake number four, not learning the strengths and weaknesses of your tank. Again, um, this goes back to playing a lot of games in your tank and not rushing to higher tiers. There's skills to be learned at all tier levels, so I hate to ha keep harping on it, but really learn your tank. Um, learn what it's good at, learn what it's not good at. Um, and as you play battles, take mental notes of what other tanks look like in regard to their armor. How much red are you seeing based upon what angle they are to your tank? Um, and then take mental notes of that and recreate it uh, when you're in that tank playing against other tanks. Um, effective armor, uh, just real quick, is increasing the strength of your armor by by angling it um, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in some future videos um, even take a look at uh, apps like armor inspector to see what these tanks look like I'll put a link uh, if I can to some of the the websites that I I've used in the past um, so again learn the strengths and weaknesses of your tank before you keep rushing up to higher and higher tier tanks. So the final mistake I want to talk about is not knowing basic strategy. It seems that there's so many players out there that uh, just don't have a grasp of the game. Um, and that I understand there's, there's people young and old that play this for fun. Uh, they don't really care about their win rate. Um, and if those people probably aren't coming to a YouTube channel like this to try to get better. But anyway, um, the key is to make the initial call at the start of the game. Uh, typically that's left or right. You see so many people say stick together. Well, that's great strategy and I, I highly recommend that teams stick together. But you end up having seven guys just... Uh, all looking at each other going which way are we going um, so once you feel comfortable uh, with knowing all of the tanks and the tier that you're playing and their strengths and their weaknesses as mentioned before um, and you can judge that against your opponent's strengths and weaknesses step up make that call um, and, and be the team leader and, and get everyone to follow you um, another basic strategy that I don't see being employed very well as, as focus fire. Um, take out their biggest guns first. I mean, those are the ones that are going to do the most damage. So many times I've seen games where uh, they might have two or three or four tanks left each one shot. Well, if your team had 
refocused its fire um, onto one specific tank and, and taking a gun out of the game, your chances are you're going to do a lot better. Um, and hopefully you've seen it in some of these gameplay videos I've been showing while I've been talking here, but stay near features like hills and rocks um, so that you have cover while you're reloading. Uh, once you've got uh, a, a shot loaded, pull out, aim, shoot, and back up. And uh, this gets to my number one pet peeve, which is when your own teammate blocks you from backing up. Never, ever, guys, block your own teammates. Um, if I'm going around a building and I know there's two or three tanks there, I want to make sure I can get back quickly. Um, and that can just blow your game. You get shot two or three times and then you're done. Um, and it really wasn't any fault of your own. It was uh, your teammates not helping you out. So, so guys, um, just to refresh here, Let's uh, let's focus on learning your tanks, not rushing tiers, um, using your free experience points properly to upgrade your your tanks before you go into battle. Um, use the premium ammo, uh, not all the time. Just make sure you carry a few shells with you. You can use those at the end of the game, or or when you're uh, up against a tank you can't penetrate. Learn the strengths and weaknesses of your tanks and um, just get out there and, and watch some videos on, on basic strategy and uh, just be a good team player. So be safe out there, good luck, and Littlefinger out.